This video goes through flowcharts which are part of the design for the A2 computing project. The first bullet point which is the outline of the system design and includes the, the outline description where it's the recap on the objectives, includes the IPSO chart, the hardware requirements and the justification of these also needs to include the flowcharts. Uh, this PowerPoint explains how to put together these flowcharts. So the components of the system basically need to be represented diagrammatically. The flowcharts are not for the algorithms, they're not for each of the individual um, processes that take place, but it's a high level picture of the physical system. So the system flowchart is drawn, each discrete component of a system is represented with the different symbols. These are the symbols and what they represent. Just spend a few minutes copying these down and making a note of these. And you may want to pause the video. OK, the process box, this could be any program or a manual process. It's something that's happening, something that's taking place. This is in a rectangle box. The next symbol, which is a tilted rectangle, gives us any kind of input and any output and the device that's used for that input or output. So this could be data that's keyed in at a keyboard, could be data from a barcode reader, um, from a barcode scanner, it could be an error report, output onto a printer, a graph shown on a monitor. So your device would be something like printer monitor, keyboard, barcode reader, flatbed scanner. The online storage, basically this is either a database or any kind of online storage and what device it's stored on. Is it on a magnetic disk, for example a hard disk drive? Is it on CDRW? Is it on flash memory? So what is the device that this is stored on and this is our storage symbol and then we've got our lines our flow of direction of data as it flows through this flowchart so you've made a note of the symbols here is a typical system it says here using the system flowchart show the hardware and software components of a system that is used to produce monthly statements for account customers of a builder's merchant. A computer program reads transactions from a keyboard and updates the customer file on magnetic disk. The program sends monthly statements to the printer. Any errors are sent to an error log file to magnetic tape. Just pause the video while you read that carefully again. OK, this then is the flowchart that represents that. So it asks you to produce a flowchart on monthly statements. That was what was being produced. We can see here that is the process in the middle, producing monthly statements. It said that a computer program read transactions from a keyboard in order to produce these monthly statements. So there we can see an input, we can see it's input because the arrow is going in. Those transactions have been read from a keyboard and going into the producing monthly statements. We said that it updates the customer file on the magnetic disk and we can see that we need to retrieve the customer's data and we update it, but that is stored on the magnetic disk. We said the program sends monthly statements to the printer, and we can see that. That goes to an output device, which is the printer. Output, because the arrow is going out of the process. And it also stores on magnetic tape an error log. We can see that going on there. So that is a system flowchart.
Okay, now you try one of these. If you pause the video for a few minutes, just while you read the scenario, and before progressing with the video, have a go at drawing this yourself, and then you can check your answer. If you pause it now. Okay, the video is now playing again. So unless you have drawn an answer, don't progress with the video. So the program was, the system flowchart was to represent orders being keyed in, validated before the valid data is written to a magnetic disk. An invalid order report is printed. Here is a flowchart that shows that. The process, validation program, the orders come in through a keyboard, they're stored into a validated order store on the magnetic disk and an error report is sent of invalid orders to the printer. Now have a go at this one. A computer program is used to extract details of members whose subscriptions are overdue. The program reads a members file held on magnetic disk and writes names and addresses to a new file on magnetic disk. A mail merge program is then used to produce reminder letters from the overdue subscriptions file and a standard letter stored on magnetic disk. The letters are then printed out. Read this carefully, pause the video and have a go at this one. OK, the video is playing again. So if you don't want to see the answer, pause again now. Here is the answer. And this shows a solution flowchart to that problem we've just previously looked at. Members file on magnetic disk. The details are extracted from there. We extract overdue records of subscriptions. This is then stored in a new store of overdue subscriptions, which is on a magnetic disk. A mail merge program is used and takes a standard letter and uses the extracted overdue subscriptions to produce reminder letters that is sent to a printer. So these are examples of system flowcharts. What you need to do for your projects is to produce some flowcharts that give an overview of your system. You may want to produce several flowcharts that outline different aspects of your system. These need to be included in the bullet point one of your systems design.